Hey guys, um, today is Friday, June 24th, 2015. It is approximately 9 o'clock a.m. And it is a beautiful day here in Philadelphia. And um, I just woke up maybe six, seven minutes ago. And I, um, I ate a yogurt. And that's what's all on my face because I'm a total slob when it comes to eating. Um, I ate a yogurt and in a few minutes I'm going to go and make my uh, green drink and I'm going to get my day started. But before I did, I wanted to make this video because I realized that I've been making videos at the end of the day. Or at the end of a traumatic event of a day. Um, and I want to set the tone for the day instead of having my video set the tone, you know. So, um, with that being said, I proclaim today Trish Day. <laughs> um, every day should be Trish Day. However, it's not for whatever reason I understand that um, but today is Trish day I actually awoke thinking that it was Saturday so the fact that it's Friday and um, that's great I mean Saturday Friday is all the same really um, but a Friday is even better because um, I don't know some of the stores I like to go to are open today so not that I have money to spend, but um, I'm not totally broke. <laughs> uh, yeah, so today's going to be a good day. And I'm going to start off with, like I said, I have my yogurt. I'm going to have my green drink. I'm going to wake my kids up. Um, we're going to go and borrow some money today. And we are going to have fun because it's something that I haven't had in a while. And um Sometimes I feel guilty and the way I make myself pay is by restricting myself from having fun because I feel like I don't deserve to have fun because this is the situation. You don't even have a job. What are you doing having fun? Stuff like that, you know? And it's like, so what? I don't have a job. I mean, it's not the best situation in the world. Um, however, I still have a life and my life deserves to be lived and part of living life is having fun yeah so um, I'm gonna enjoy the Sun I'm gonna drive with the windows down something I don't normally do because I'm a spoiled little shit sometimes um, I'm gonna talk to people I'm gonna touch things I'm gonna try things on I might even eat some water ice um, yeah, I'm just going to enjoy myself because I deserve it. And um, if you don't take care of yourself, nobody's going to take care of yourself. And that's a lesson that I learned. Um, and it took me eight years to learn that lesson. Eight years, yeah. I'm a, I'm very smart. I'm a 4.0 student. I've been a 4.0 student since 8th grade. I have no problem passing tests and understanding information. Um, my problem is applying the information. Um, so I guess I'm a little slow in that area. Um, street smarts, I got it. Book smarts is there. Common sense, loading. <laughs> um, but I, I think that the the thing that I struggle with or struggled with is um, I'm one of those people who thinks that I am one of those people who believes that there is still so much good in the world and that people are good people inherently good people I believe that and I believe that the things that I would do for a person, a person would do for me, you know? 
So if someone is in need and I have the ability to help them, I'm going to help them regardless of the relationship. You don't have to be intimate with a person. When I say intimate, that always throws people off because people always think of intimacy as sex. Intimacy for me is a relationship that extends past that, um, what's it called? That acquaintance, you know? If I work with you and you know that I get paid every other Friday and you know every other Friday um, I like to go buy sushi when I get paid and you know that um, I also have to pay my car note on the 5th of every month and on the 7th of every month I'm always complaining about still having to pay my car note because I ate sushi two days ago when I should have been paying my car note. Um, those are intimate details. So that's what I mean when I say intimate with someone. If you have an intimate relationship with someone and they know you and you know them, even if it's just some level that you only allow them to know you on, those type of people are like people I care about, you know? I care about people. I care about all people, you know? I care about my neighbors. If I see my neighbor needs a jump, I'm going to give her a jump, even if she doesn't ever say hi to me, even if she never says hi again. Like, that's her thing to deal with. And that's how I operate. So a lot of times that has bitten me in the butt because not everyone, no one is like me. And there are very few people who can relate to my logic and my thinking that everybody should be able to be happy. Everyone should be able to make choices. Everyone should be able to express themselves and everyone should be able to be respected and be loved and be treated fairly, regardless of past, present or future stuff that's going on, you know? And I say all that because it took me eight years to realize that I'm unique in that way, that I can extend my hands to someone and I'm just doing it because that's what I do. I'm not expecting anything in return. But to that person, depending on their mindset and their consciousness and their just everything, their upbringing, their perception of reality, their perception of the world, their perception of me, their perception of themselves, that person may not be able to receive that as anything other than okay she's trying to play me or she's trying to hurt me or she's trying to demean me because she's helping me and she thinks she's better than me or something you know I don't know I don't get I don't get it I study psychology for many many years I have degrees in psychology yet I still don't understand how people think But it took me a long time to realize that um, my happiness depends on me. My happiness depends entirely on me. And your happiness depends on you. And nothing I say or do should knock you off your square to the point that you're not happy. Okay? And no matter what, no matter what, people throw in your lap. You always have that ability to stand up and walk away. You know? And if you have something in your lap and you don't secure it and you stand up, what what happens is it drops to the floor and you have that ability to walk right over it. And that's what I need to start doing. Um, I, I got so used to loving and helping and wanting people to be okay that I just sat there with their stuff in my lap and it stifled me, it stifled my creativity, it stifled my ability to be who I am at nature, you know, that giving, that kind, that loving, that cheerful, that smiling, that happy, that talkative person because I'm sitting here holding other people's crap. I'm holding their sadness and I'm holding their anger and I'm holding their resentment to something that has nothing to do with me. 
and I'm holding your stories and I'm gonna get your stuff and it's like where's my stuff nobody's taking my stuff I got your stuff on top of all of my stuff and my stuff is over here suffocating so yeah today is going to be an awesome day it's going to be an awesome weekend it's in the cards <laughs> and um, yeah so I'm going to use this day as a kickoff to a new beginning a new beginning a new adventure new opportunities I I, I don't want to be cliche and say a new life because every day you awake it's a new life but I'm going to use today to jump start a new way of thinking and a new attitude you know and I'm not going to allow people to rain on my parade or make me feel like I shouldn't be happy or thankful because of a situation that I'm in or a situation that they're in or that I can't be sad because of a situation that I am. You don't deserve to be sad. Look at what you got. Well, I'm still sad. You know, I still have that that human emotion. So regardless of what I have, I still have emotions or what are you all happy for? You don't have a job. Well, I'm happy that my children are alive and that's enough. You know, so that's that's my new thing. And um, that's it. So if you don't see another video from me for a few days, and I think I'm going to take a break. Um, I may record them, but I'm not going to post them. Look at my hair. All those grays. I actually love gray hair now. I used to hide it. But um, I don't know. Uh, old age is something that a lot of people don't get to experience anymore. And um, not that necessarily gray hair is a sign of old age, but god damn, it's a sign of experience, I tell you that. If these gray hairs could talk. <laughs> um, anyway, um, I'm going to take a little break. I'll be back on Monday. And Monday morning, Monday afternoon, I have a second interview. And I'm very excited about that. And this is something that I really want to pursue. And um, I have a very good feeling about it. So I'm going to also work this weekend on preparing myself for that blessing. Because it's coming. It's coming my way. And I'm going to receive it. I'm going to receive it now. Um, yeah. I've received it already. So, um. That's it. All right, guys. You take care. You be well. Be happy. And um, don't let don't let anybody burden you with their stuff. Okay. You got your own stuff going on. I know you do. Because you're human and you're watching this, and you can relate to everything that I'm saying. Um, although you might not be a 4.0 student. <laughs> All right. In any event, y'all take care. And be well. Peace.